Thanks, Brandon. And also in Colony, police keeping real busy. They're closely investigating a phone scam targeting restaurant owners claiming that they owe money to National Grid. This is something I brought you as a bottom line alert twice in the last couple of weeks. It's a phone scam where the caller claims to work for National Grid, demands payment on a prepaid debit card, and says otherwise power will be turned off. Well, now Colony police confirm that eight eateries have received the calls. Three of them have fallen for it, losing a total of more than six grand. Now, one restaurant owner who narrowly escaped falling for that victim is the owner of TJ's there on Central Avenue. Todd Leach says that he got the call yesterday, believed it because he thought his bill might be coming due. He arranged to hand over $1,500 in cash, but then he called National Grid himself, and they told him it was bogus, all part of the scam. And then... He called police and they tried to catch the bad guy in the act this morning. We had set up a couple of undercover officers in our building posing as my wife and myself waiting for the individual to show up. Called me at about 11.05 on my cell phone and said, you know, do you in fact have the money? And I said, yes, we have the money. I'm waiting for you to come pick it up. He said, okay, I, I, I'm going to need you to go to a pharmacy and send it to me through a money pack. So they never got their guy, but that is how the scam works. The caller gets the victim to send over payment using a green dot money pack prepaid debit card. Police in both Saratoga and Schenectady counties already have warned of this same scam. The bottom line here is that National Grid does not contact customers by phone ever to demand payment. It also does not use those prepaid debit cards. So if you get one of the calls, don't do anything. And instead, you are told to do like Todd did and contact National Grid.